Hi, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to use a Covington wet belt sander. I'm going to start by uh, outlining some of the components of the belt sander. Uh, first of all, the motor drives a belt and the belt turns the drive wheel on the bottom. Uh, the wheel at the top is adjustable just to hold the belt in position to tighten it. This backing plate so that when you press glass against the sanding belt it has a flat edge that will firm and the belt won't flex. That can be removed easily. If you want you can take it out. That allows the belt to be soft so that you could do inside curves along the belt. The guide plate also can be removed or adjusted. If you put it on straight, slide the glass across it, It'll sit squarely against the belt, or if you wish, you could turn it and adjust it so that the glass will grind on an angle on the belt. You may want to put a 45 degree bevel on it. Uh, the wheel adjustment on the top, that loosens. The wheel drops. It just tilts down to allow the belt to be taken off, and then when you tighten it, that wheel comes up and pulls it into a tight position so it centers as needed. This particular adjustment is rarely needed to be played with, but this moves this entire belt up and down, so if you find that you're having inordinate difficulty getting the belt on, you can loosen it. If you find that the belt isn't getting as tight as you'd like, you can tighten it. Water is fed onto the top. In this particular case, we have it connected to a pump inside a bucket of water that when we turn on the pump it will spray water into here. This is adjustable. If you wish, it's even more convenient if you just plumb this direct into a water line uh, or you could get a pump, a pressure tank that you pump up like a garden sprayer and it will connect to this and spray water into here. Uh, whatever you do, you have to have water to spray under the belt, otherwise you will generate friction and the friction on the belt will crack the glass. Take care that you check the direction, the arrows on the belt, so that you're putting it on in the direction it was designed to be used. If you don't, you'll just produce needlessly rapid wear on the belt. Um, and you'll end up burning through a lot of belts that you shouldn't have to. on. I'm going to tighten this quite tight. But as soon as I turn it on, I want to be ready with this to adjust it quickly. I want to make sure that this belt stays tracking in the middle. And by tightening it, I move the belt to the left. If I loosen it, the belt will move to the right. If it moves too far to the right, it will come right off the track. If it moves too far to the left, it can start to wedge against the left edge. If the belt starts to get too firm, as it's just beginning to here, it will create strain on the belt and it actually can cause the motor to freeze up. I have the belt adjusted where I want it. I've just put the pump into a bucket of water. I'm just going to, the pump's running now. It's pumping water out, but I need to open this to allow a little to spray onto the belt. So that's spraying out now, and I'm just going to turn on the belt, and the water now is distributing onto the belt. There is a piece of felt installed inside that helps to spread water across the belt so it's uniformly covered. What helps assist that is to take a wet sponge and wedge the sponge up in behind. I have a little casting here, a little six inch square, one inch thick glass casting that uh, has rather rough edge from the dam that it was cast into, so we're going to grind that down. That was 60 grit belt. 
that's going to just take it down to a smooth plane to the surface I want then use progressively uh, finer grit belts to work it down to a smoother and smoother surface ultimately to using a cork belt to put a full polish on it. You want to take care that this plate is kept clean of grit. Uh, if you have any uh, bits of glass dust or uh, pieces of silicone carbide from the belt that sits on it as you're sliding this across you can scratch the underside of the glass especially a concern if uh, that is a, a finish that you want retained on a full sheen uh, make sure that however you decide to drain it you can just allow it to fill up and then drain it out afterwards in this case we've just hooked up a drain to a bucket we will take the bucket and we will dump it outside afterwards Resist the temptation to plumb this direct into a drain system or to dump the bucket into your drain system. The glass dust and the silicone carbide that comes uh, after the grinding can completely plug up a, a drain and a plumbing system. So always take the residual stuff and dump it somewhere outside. Leave it outside to dry or pour it someplace safe into the garden 